This will be another video to be put up on YouTube of a little bit more of what will be said in my lecture on parliamentary elections in one month from now. This video will concern one unique electoral system found nowhere else in the world, in the South American nation of Chile. Their parliamentary election, not their presidential election. So, in this system, it's what I need your help to, I need your opinion, and I want you to tell me, especially if you're from Chile, then you'd be most, then you'd have most authority on this question, whether this system is fair or not fair. Because when I looked at it, I didn't know if it was unfairly disproportionate, or if it's proportional, or if it's fairly disproportional. Yeah, remember I told you I'm against uh, proportional representation. Now, here's how this system works. In each electoral district, there are two seats to fill. Each political party or coalition of political parties runs two candidates to fill those two seats. Once the election is held and the results are in, the political party with the most votes wins either one or both of the seats. But it's not that easy. If one political party or political coalition wins 66% or more of the vote, a two-thirds majority in that district, they are awarded both the seats. If, a, if the result is anything less than a majority, then, the <clears throat> then they are only awarded one seat and the political party with the, or political coalition with the second highest number of votes is given the second seat. Now, I don't know if this is fair or not because On the plus side, it seems to give everybody equal representation. Meaning that meaning that everyone every person's voice is heard. No, no, no. Everyone stands on equal footing in the parliament. There are no major swings for or against one certain political party or political coalition, unless they are immensely unpopular all over the country. Almost every single district has one member, has a member of one political party and another. Two seats, both of them from different political parties, unless it's an extremely safe seat for one coalition or one political party. Now, so it seems that everything is, goes split down the line. You are given equal number of seats against your opponent. There's no major swings, as I said. So 50 seats for you, 50 seats for you. That's how the system is designed. But is it fair? The result of this system, it has, result, it has resulted in a political culture of coalitions. Two large coalitions dominate Chilean politics. One coalition is a center-left coalition and the other is a center-right coalition. So, 
when political parties get together and negotiate, they say, okay, your party gets those two seat, runs candidates in those two seats, and your party runs candidates in those two seats. I don't know why they do this, but I gather it's because if they didn't, the political landscape would be deeply divided. There would be many one-seat parties in Parliament. Unless, that's why they form these coalitions. That's what I think, but I don't know. The system seems to award coalitions. Now, um, let me give you, let me make, uh, help you Americans try to understand this. This is like if you have one district in the United States House of Representatives and you give one seat to a Republican and one seat to a Democrat. If you had two seats in one district and you gave one to a Republican and one to a Democrat, unless the Republican or the Democrat gets party gets 66% or more of the vote in that particular area. So it would be split down the line all the time, 50-50, practically. No major swings. Is this fair? I would say in principle it's fair that everybody from different, different political persuasions stands on equal footing in Parliament. However, some argue that some groups are overrepresented. For example, like the center left or the center right don't have that much, don't have support of 50% or 45% of the vote of this uh, support in the whole country. Why do you want us to be on equal grounds with the other political faction in Parliament, with the other political party or other coalition? So it's, some people say some groups are overrepresented. So I want to know what you think again. I apologize, I sometimes repeat myself. It's a really bad habit of mine. Um, I want to know what you think. Is this fair or not? One note I will point out though, it was divided, it was, this system was devised during the military junta years of Chile during the seven, in the 1970s and 1980s. So that makes its um, legitimacy or its fairness questionable because it benefits it benefits the pro-military groups? I don't know. So again, thanks for listening and tell me if you think it is fair or not, especially if you're from Chile.